Welcome to the project everyone. It's a beautiful Saturday and uh, while we're waiting for parts on some of the more major projects that we have going on right now, I figured today would be a great chance to get some progress on the shop that honestly, or do some stuff on the shop that's been bothering me for a long, long time. <sighs> How do we even get into this? So let me grab the camera and then uh, I'll just start talking to you and explain the issue and what we've been running into. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, lighting is a huge, huge thing when it comes to shop and especially when it comes to filming too. So what we're gonna work on today is lighting in the shop and cameras, one way they can adjust how bright it is is the ISO, but the higher the ISO, the brighter the image is, but also the more grainy it is. So in all the cases, you typically want the ISO as low as possible. And then there's a lot of other factors in a camera that will cause it to be lighter or not so light. And so like on this camera right here, uh, I can adjust the focal point or the focal length, I think is what it's called. And if I have a higher focal length, it'll be darker, but the zoom distance can be a lot bigger. And so this lens is great because uh, I can turn the focal length like down all the way to like 4.0 and then I can get great bokeh where if I'm talking to you like this, you guys like can't see the background as much. But oftentimes, uh, this bites me in the butt, as you've seen our other videos, sometimes the camera doesn't focus exactly where I want. So I'm still getting better at that. But I wanna run a high focal length in a, lot of, uh, in a lot of our videos, so that way you guys can just get everything in focus. And the amount of light coming in really determines how high of a focal length I can run in a lot of the scenarios. Because uh, again, I want the ISO as low as possible. So all this to say is, Today we're gonna work on the lighting in the shop a little bit, and I'm hoping it can make some difference. I'm gonna set up the camera into manual mode, and then we'll do like the same settings before and after and see if it makes any difference at all. Because uh, as you can see, like we have light in the shop here. And so like we have light, but you know, I want, I need more light. What I'm hoping to do today is like not necessarily adding any more lights, but all of the lights over here, all of these guys, they were originally in the shop. I put in these lights over here, um, but these ones are original to the shop. And you can actually almost see like the color difference. Like that's a lot wider, a lot brighter. And then over here, it's a bit dimmer. So what I need to do is we need to take down all of these lights and clean them. Cause I'm pretty sure there's a big old like uh, film of just grime on all these lights. And I'm hoping that that will make a big enough difference that we can actually catch it on camera. So let's go have some fun. <laughs> let's go pull down some lights and see if it makes a difference. But let me first set up the camera and just see if, uh, if we can figure out good settings for it. We'll try to get down to like ISO 125 or so and, and just hard set it. So yeah, let's set up the camera, get some uh, initial results and then we'll start getting into it. Okay, so there we go. Here's the initial camera settings. So we have it on 125th shutter speed, ISO locked in at 100 and F 4.0. So now you can see how dark it is. We'll use the exact same settings once we clean all these lights. I did turn off my lights over here because again, I installed those later and they're not nearly as grimy as some of these. And I've been wanting to do this for like on it years, honestly years. I've wanted to clean these, but I just haven't spent the time to do it. So here's the initial camera settings and uh, I guess we'll see what it looks like after. Okay, so if y'all didn't know, the way that these pop in and out is they just rotate and then they slide out through the bottom. So there we go, we got one tube out. I think this is the one tube I've actually cleaned before. So we're gonna delicately slit these down one at a time and uh, then clean them. Okay, so let me just say it might be hard to tell this while on camera, but I mean, look at just how filthy 
these things are. When, when they are lit up, it's hard to tell how dirty they are, but then just look at that. I, I mean, I taped these all off when we painted them, so a lot of, like the base is really dirty too, but I mean, that is just filthy. And there's the one I just pulled off, and it's also really dirty. So let's pull these tubes down and then uh, we can look at them on the bench. Okay, so we got them all down and you can definitely tell these is, I think these are the two tubes that I kind of tried to clean before. And then all of these other ones are from the other fixtures. So you can tell these ones uh, right next to the wood fire furnace are definitely just absolutely filthy. So let's try wiping these down and uh, see how clean we can get them. So I got a bucket down here with a little bit with some water and a little bit of simple green. And uh, we're just gonna take this microfiber cloth and try wiping these things down. Well, that's, that's a great sound. So uh, with the state of that water, I think it's safe to say we pulled off a lot of the dirt. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna actually take brand new paper towels and wipe each of them down to make sure I'm getting off any residual dirt and then hopefully uh, dry them off a little bit too. Something else I want to do. I want to clean off the fixtures. Let me actually get up to where you guys can see me. The other step to this whole process that I want to do is actually clean the fixtures. Because again, uh, the fixtures, if you think about all the light emitting from the tube, the fixtures actually take up quite a bit of that. So if they're dirty and they're just absorbing the light rather than bouncing it off, then that'll affect the brightness in the whole shop too. And uh, yeah, these are, quite dirty. I will say make sure you have power turned off because you don't want to uh, you don't want to be like soaking these things while there's still 120 volts up in here so be smart don't die here's my technique on the last one I just did the rag that has some simple green on it and then I tried using some uh, brake cleaner and the brake cleaner did seem to actually get it off better than the rag, like after the rag. But I tried isopropyl alcohol, uh, and that's a bit easier to use and seems to work as well. This one's really, really bad. So this should be satisfying.
All right, so with all the fixtures cleaned and ready to go, and with these cleaned, dried off, and ready to go, uh, I think we're ready to put these all back in. But real quick, if you guys didn't know, so I built all of these benches, and I designed them myself too. And so it's good to see that they're actually holding up uh, now that we're a few years into using these. And originally there was no light over here, and so I was trying to figure out a good way to get some light over here. And that's where, in college, summer break, I used to live in my brother's basement, and that was also really dark. So I bought these lights, and then coming here, I was like, oh, well, this is perfect. I'll just throw them up right here. And then I also got uh, this 12-volt inverter for free uh, and these lights because they didn't work from, uh, from a construction buddy. So then here, I just have that, and then it's two strips that come all along the top. Granted, I don't like how yellow. I wish the color temperature on this was different but it's a pretty simple setup and that seems to stay cool enough. So that's where I have both of these all on a switch over here. Uh, so that way at least it's like I can light up the benches and, uh, and then the shop has its own lights as well. But I think it's time to finally get these tubes up into the ceiling. So let's get to it. Also, just a quick note, this is how much dirt we captured today. I gotta say, that's, uh, that's some pretty good effort right there. Okay, uh, there's all the lights, so we all got them in. So let's turn off this. Let's uh, turn off these lights. And we'll have the big reveal. Alright, you guys ready? Why is that one not on? Did I put them in backwards? All right, let me troubleshoot that guy. Okay, I just had to mess with it a little bit, but like, I don't know if this is coming up on camera quite yet, but holy smokes, it is so much brighter in here. It's like ridiculous how much brighter it is in here. I mean, maybe I was a little used to it with the lights being off, but like, holy smokes, look at this. This is like super bright. Like, uh, I, uh, man. All right, let's set up the camera and get it into those same settings because that'll really tell how much brighter it is. So let me set up the camera. There we go, it's the camera in the same settings. So now we should be able to like split the screen half and half and show like how dark versus how light it is now. Wow, that's all I can say, holy smokes. This is, uh, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. This is crazy. I don't know if it's just my eyes perceiving me right now, but before it was like the workbench was the brightest spot but now it's like my workbench lights aren't as bright as in here, which is just awesome. Like having it really bright in here, like gets you in such a better mood to get stuff done. Like, like having all the light come into your eyes just like gives you energy and really helps you get stuff done. So I think this is gonna be awesome. That's really all I can say about it. Okay, you ready? I guess. Maybe I shouldn't look right at it. Oh. It actually really feels a lot brighter in here. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it was just me. Because I was like, whoa, holy crap. I don't know if I'm just remembering wrong, but it like... No, I think it genuinely is a lot brighter. Especially like over there. Yeah. It's kind of wild. It like makes the space feel a lot different. Did you do those ones? No. Because now that feels a little dark, doesn't it? Compared yeah, to little. like... But those ones weren't as dirty. Yeah, well... I mean, ah. these ones I've wanted to clean ever since we came in here. Is there like a diffuser thing that goes on them, or is that just how they are? Uh, that's typically just how they are. Wow. So, uh, that's great. We'll get a wife's thumbs up then? Yeah. Okay. Both of them. Yep. Looks good. Awesome. It did more than I was expecting it to. Oh, there you go. There's a second opinion. I think this project is uh, done and dusted. What do you guys think? I think this is pretty good. A couple hours of work and uh, our shop looks way better. I, I'm really happy about it. So I just wanna say thanks for coming on this project. I hope you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys can come on the next project. And, and I'm really not trying to say that to like 
you know, try to get you guys to come subscribe. I just, I like having you guys here and I like sharing all the different projects that I do with you guys. And so hitting the subscribe button just really helps, helps you remember to come on to the next one and I hope to see you there. So I'll stop blabbing my mouth and let you guys get on with your day. I hope you have a great one and I hope to see you next time. So bye.